Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, everyone. Where in our previous episode, our adventurers met a very old human named El Caro that is leading them through the depths, and uh, he led them to a, a small gnome, deep gnome village. And that's where they are right now. Uh, Ryan had just asked El Caro to bring him to the blacksmith in town. So that's where we'll start off. So he leads you across town to a very small shop, which is a blacksmith's shop. Okay. Uh, so what's it look like? What's it like? Uh, so as you go inside, there's not really too much, uh, too many, uh, like tools in there. Just the very basics that one would need for blacksmithing or for smithing, I guess. Yeah. And is anybody there? Yeah, there is a deep gnome woman with like a very uh, straight jaw and look who looks very stern. Cool. Okay. Well, I walk up to her. I'm like, "Hello. <laughs> what's uh what's your name?" Uh my name is uh Allison. Allison, and you're the, you're the, bl- the blacksmith in town here. Yes, I am. Magnum. What can I do for you? Well, not much to be honest. I was just curious to see uh what you're working on. Well, I'm not really working on anything right now. Have no new jobs to do. Get any business? Uh, occasionally. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Well, mostly I just wanted to meet her. Okay. Are you a blacksmith yourself? I was. I used to be. Oh. Yeah. Are the weapons you have yourself your own? Like, did you make them? Ah, uh, this one. And I take out my battle hammer. Okay. It was actually made for me by uh by my uh, my old master. He taught me everything that he, I know. Mind if I take a look? Sure, I hand it over. So she'll just look it over and say, like, hmms and haws, and then she'll hand it back and say, very impressive. Yeah. It's a good hammer. Probably better than even I make. He was unparalleled, as far as I know. Uh, what is his name? If you don't mind me asking. I didn't actually name him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I, I do actually, um, brings up some painful <laughs> memories. Of course, of course. So. That's what I asked. It's, it's alright, no, common question I get. I should really probably work through that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking of seeing a therapist. <laughs> alright, uh, can I take a look at what you have for sale? Of course, of course. And she just shows you around the shop. There's cool. like a, just a few swords, a battle hammer. Uh, some knives, uh, just some crowbars and like other just metal tools and stuff like that. Okay, okay. So and they're like, like pretty good quality. Good quality. Wow. Yeah, not amazing, but mm-hmm. still good quality. Are you uh, self-taught? Uh, no, my uh, father taught me uh, long ago. I thought you were gonna say something. Yeah, I thought so too. Because no, you're like, I had a sudden yawn. Yeah. <laughs> no, sorry. All right. Ah. I tried to suck it in. This one, bad. Well, uh, I have all the weapons I need, but uh, do you think I could take any spare metal off your hands? Uh, I don't really have much spare metal. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'd prefer not to give any away. All right. Just because right. in case no someone worries. comes here needing something. Not a problem. Just thought I'd check. All right. Well. I guess I'll just be on my way. Have a good day. Yeah. What's your name? Did she say her Did I say uh, Allison. Allison. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, then I just leave. Okay. Uh, was there anything else you guys wanted to do in the small village before you moved on? I don't think so. Nope. Not really. Uh, nothing to interest, please. Okay. Uh, so Alcara will be like, it's okay if we... Would you like to keep heading forth towards where I think the Shardana... Maybe. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I don't see any reason why we should waste time, no. Okay, let's let's head out then. And he'll take you to the uh, southwestern side of the city where there's a path that goes out of the city. And, like, as you walked the path, you did see a few different shrines of different, like, uh, deep gnome gods as well as one... That's usually a drow god. And then you also walk past a couple of bars and one small inn. And yeah, then you're out of the village. And Velcaro will warn you guys, uh, just so we know, 
Coming up a bit in front of here, there's going to be a blanket of fog that may bring forth bad feelings, memories, senses, stuff like that. So just beware. I don't know how to uh, get through it without anything happening, but that's all that'll happen. So as long as you have your senses, you should be good. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. well, I, I don't like that. <laughs> so sounds, it. sounds like a great time. Not a car. So yes. There was a statue there that seems to represent uh, more of a drow cult. Yes, yes. Uh, a long time ago, some drow did live here, apparently, as well. Like, wow. with the uh, deep gnomes. I think that the drow just decided to leave and, like, ha- try to make find their own town or something like that. It's from what I've been told. Well, right. Uh, maybe I should go investigate that statue or the rest of you go into this fog. <laughs> I'll come really? back. I'll be strong. That Actually. seems silly because there's no reason to investigate said statue. Well, well there's know. many reasons to enter said fog. <laughs> maybe it's a secret entrance to, you know, uh, 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 the show. What do you think this is? Indiana Jones? Yeah. <laughs> What's Indiana Jones? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, actually, Farron, I was going to suggest that you use your uh, Wall of Wind or whatever the spell was you cast earlier. Ah. Might disperse the fog, you know? I always liked you. <laughs> Thanks. You always had smart ideas. All right. I'm just going to go walk up and go. I'm going to cast like two little tornadoes and just go. Just okay. So does that like come from you or is it like it, a single? Yeah, it comes straight from me as a 60 foot long, 10 foot wide uh, beam. And it actually has a chance. I believe it's like a chance thing for it to disperse fog. Just let me pull it up. Okay. Um, so when you look up, yeah. Yeah, so the gust. Oh no, that's for flames. Um, the gust disperses gas and vapor. Okay. As you cast it, the fog does go away. And then as you walk forwards, uh, 30 seconds later, like, so does the wind stay in one place? Like, if you cast it, like, here, and then you were walking, would the wind still be back here? No, it comes from me. It's a concentration spell, so it's always in front of me, outwards. Okay. How long can you keep it up? Uh, Usually about one minute, unless I use my extended spell. Yeah, so as you're walking, uh, the air in front of you becomes calm like there's no more well just windy there's no more fog in front of you and then about five seconds after you walk past that section the fog rolls back in behind you um anyone else know i cast the the wind spell (laughs) i do but that costs a lot of key that i'm not gonna waste (laughs) cast a spell fist of unbroken air cost me two key points I'll be damned before I waste that. <laughs> I only get three of them. All right, well, let's, uh, let's move quick. <laughs> Everybody jog. <laughs> kind of jog through. <laughs> hoping the fog doesn't catch up. Yeah, I am not fast. Because it comes from me, so it's still hitting the yeah. back. So what's the, like, walking order here? Well, um, I'm assuming I'm making the way and then yeah. everyone's in front of me. Yeah, yeah. we're falling okay. close behind. I'm yeah. Yeah. In front, because... Yeah, uh, the one yeah, yeah. the fog for you guys. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you guys are able to get through the fog without any incidences or nightmares or anything like that. We thank the Lord. H probably made this whole cool interaction <laughs> for each one of us no in this fog. He's like, this would be sick. And you pass around a corner and... As you look back, the fog has just encompassed the entire t- tunnel again. You can't see it all through it. It's just like this wall of whiteness. Glad we avoided that. <laughs> that was a close one. Oh, we need to talk about close. I know I have a lot of deep-rooted issues that would have come up. <laughs> <laughs> I no one experience anything. Uh, and then you see that this uh, passageway is starting to open up, and roll a perception check, everyone. Oh, hot diggity dog. That's a nat 20. Oh boy, would I That's ever just love to roll a nice nat little 20 nat 20 for you right here. <laughs> Plus, <laughs> just waiting for this little nat 20, 20 I'm about to drop. Boom. Nope. Instead of that, I decided to drew a dirty 20. 21. Okay, so the three of you... three The three of you can actually see what's in this cavern in front of you. And what you see in the center is a small encampment of what looks to be Meg... Megman, and you count eight of them, as well as one Nothic. 
Magnin, like the city? Magmen. Oh, Mag-men. oh. Yeah. Uh, Blaze has never encountered these. Okay. <laughs> so he'll instantly bring out his notebook, ready to take notes. Um, uh, hold up, everyone. We seem to have a bit of a unfriendly camp ahead of us. I assume they're unfriendly. They look like the hell. They look awesome. What's the layout? <laughs> the Like we're in a cavern? or? Yeah, so you're just about to enter the cavern. Then in kind of the center, kind of a bit further back from the center, you see uh, eight magmen and a Nothic there. Okay. And this cavern is probably around 60 feet by 70 feet, and there's a passageway going south. Why don't we try to stealthily, stealth, stealthily creep our way around? There are a few uh, stalactites and stalagmites in this room as well. Some of them really large. Well, yeah, I think sneaking by would be our best yeah. option. Uh, Blaze, have you ever ran into these things before? Uh, which one are you referring to, the Magman or the Nothic? The Magman. The Magman? No, I've never seen them before. But they look very intriguing. I like the looks of the cute little fire guys, aren't they? Why don't you go up and say hi to them? <laughs> I'm not stupid. <laughs> yeah, just I think they look cool doesn't mean I want to die. All right, so I suppose the uh, consensus here is we are going to sneak by. Try our best, dude. All right. Um, what the fuck was it? Old man. Yeah, Alcaro. Yeah, Alcaro. Yeah, Alcaro will say, yeah, it, it might be a good idea to try to just sneak by and be as quiet as possible. Try not to bring any attention to ourselves. Do you know any, like, secret ways around or passages? Uh, unfortunately, I do not. I think the only way, the best way would just be to hang by the... Slagmites and slag tights, because I don't know which one rises and which one lowers. <laughs> <laughs> Stalagmites from the ground. Okay. I think we should stick by all the slagmites. <laughs> try to hide behind them and try to sneak possible to the next slagmite. <laughs> Alright, that sounds like an idea. Anyone who wanna who take the lead? Go in front. I'll take the lead. Uh brave soldier. <laughs> brave man. <laughs> I will stay kind of in between everyone, you know, in case I need to protect anyone. Not because I feel like being covered by meat shields. (laughs) I'll stay by your side. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ryan. I always count on you. I try. Uh, So you guys are just going to stealth then? Yeah. So, Zach, you were going first? Yeah. Okay, so just do a stealth check to get the to the first one without drawing notice. All of us? Uh, just him, because he was going. That was an 11. That was an 11, yeah. yeah. 11? 16. 16. Uh, you got there. Nice. And now the next person. Um, I'm channeling my inner dice energy. So um, one, 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 Plus six! Eight. <laughs> Steps on the stalagmite. <laughs> Cats are supposed to be light on their feet. <laughs> I'm busy taking notes. You see me like be like trying to sneak, but also like draw a little picture, and then I like trip over a rock and like I'm like oof. <laughs> Sixteen, you said? No, uh, eight. Eight? Oh, like total? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, you're seen by <laughs> all the Magmen and the Nothic as well. In oh. the Magmen, <laughs> you're seen by everyone. Oh good lord! Burn in hell. And the Meg children. <laughs> The mag men, the mag children, and women too. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear the mag men just talking to each other in a uh, language you don't understand because it is Aiknen. Uh-huh. <laughs> I speak. I, <laughs> I speak primordial. That's not Aiknen. But would they would they know how to speak primordial? Because they're elemental beasts, right? But they're not speaking primordial. Yeah, they're speaking Ignan. Ignan. <laughs> no, but they might know the language primordial. No, they don't. That's they cool. only know Ignan. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, sorry. Crazy how they're speaking. Uh, I'll stand up and I'll like be like, oh, uh, you guys, I made a wrong turn somewhere. And I'll just like slowly walk away like, and hope they don't follow. Uh, three of them like run after you, like scurry and run after you. <laughs> uh, back at it again, Blaze. Uh, and I'll turn around to face them then. Okay. Seeing that he startled them, I'll bring out my longbow. Okay. I, I, uh, I'm gonna bring out my longbow. Yeah. I'm gonna bring out a magic or a spiritual weapon. Okay. Alcara uh, will bring out his uh, long, his longsword called uh, Sha- called Shaft. No. <laughs> what did I call the answer? It was like, uh, it wasn't Shadows Demon Spain. Demon Spain. Yeah. 
and feel quite at ease. Looks like we have a fight here. I don't really want to fight, but... Uh, so roll initiative, initiative, please. Uh, 12. Uh, 17. Hey. What'd you get? <laughs> two. A nat two. You don't have any decks? <laughs> nope. I don't have any negative, which is a good thing, I guess. But I also don't have any positive. <laughs> you win some, you lose most. <laughs> Hey, Ryan, you got two. I got it, too. Ilrindal? 17. A bit slow on the update. Eric? 17.2. Well, just 17. 8. Oh, sorry, 12. 12 plus 4. So. 6. Okay, so one of the Magmen is going after Blaze first, since it was the first one that saw him, and immediately it just began scurrying towards you. Come at me, you little fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said screaming towards him. <laughs> He's like, ah! running towards him. <laughs> and it'll use touch on you. <laughs> Point at the Tag little bear where the magnet <laughs> touched you. Yeah. I'm assuming an 11 doesn't hit you. No, it doesn't. Okay. I swiftly dodge. Uh, next it'll be Aelorindal. Ah, uh, sweet stuff. Um, I'm going to shoot it with my longbow. Okay, uh, just one of the magmen. Uh, yeah. Okay. Don't, don't, don't really matter which one. Um, That's about right here. <laughs> uh, so 13. 13 misses. Just oh. barely. You see it whiz past his head and, like, go through the flame that's coming off him and just hit the cavern wall behind him. Mm-hmm. Next is Farron. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, okay, so... I'm going to I'm going to look get the the, the one that's closest to Blaze. Yeah. Megan, and I'm gonna cast Charm Person on it. Okay. So it has to make a wisdom saving throw of be fourteen as I look at its eyes and say, How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> got, got a three, so Yeah. <laughs> it is now our <laughs> It is now ours and I'm going to Yeah, and it is charm for one hour. Okay. Oh, damn. He's just charmed towards you, though, I think, right? Uh, he, he, if he is. Or do you tell him what to do? Well, it, it would tell you what to do. He would tell it what to okay. do. Yeah, I tell him what to do. Okay. And um, the charming goes away if it gets attacked at all. Yeah, as long as it's not, like, harmful to itself, it'll do whatever it tell, it, Sebastian tells him to do. Mm-hmm. Okay, next is... Okay. Next is, uh, Megman, it'll attack, uh, Lazarus. Do they even know I'm there? Or, yeah, they wouldn't have seen you, so they'll attack oh, Blaze and he's the closest one. Cool. No! Uh, got a 14? Doesn't it. Okay. Uh, then it is Blaze. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna turn to the one that just tried to hit me. And I'll be like, uh, sorry little guy! Uh, and then I'll take my, uh, two daggers out and I'll try and hit him with those. I, like, lunge forwards and, like, slash at him. So. Okay. Uh, so, oof. okay, so the first one is a 5 plus 6 is 11. Misses. Okay, and the next one is a 17. Yeah, it's Okay. Uh, <sighs> it's a 20. So what? Uh, 8. That was your second attack, though, right? So it was the bonus action one? Oh, yeah. So then not my dex, just the 4 plus 3, so yeah. 4. Uh, next is another Magman. It'll attack you, Blaze, since you're the closest. I've uh, got a 22. Oh, I think that one. Uh, so that will be... So it's easy in touch. Uh, you just take four fire damage. Okay. And you have caught on fire. Ugh. What happened to just take four fire damage? <laughs> oh, wait, no. Uh, well, you're kind of blamble because you're, f- you're furry. But... Well, that hurtful, but yeah. <laughs> I'll say it's just the four first, fire folks. damage. Clayton's a furry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next is another Magman. Uh, they have, he sees you guys in this place too, so we'll go for, uh, Ryan first. Come at me. Uh, he got a 14. Does not hit. Okay. Uh, another one will then go for Farron. What? How many, uh, how many of them are there? Go to Eight. 10, so that's a miss. Uh, then, uh, Alcaro will go next. Yep. Uh, he'll run up and try to hit one. He got a nat. He'll run up, try to hit the Nothic. Got a nat 20. Hey. 
And long swords are no- normally 1d8, one one right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he just deals uh, 8 damage. Uh, so next it is Nothic's, t- I mean, uh, Magman's turn. It'll go for Ailernel. I'd uh, got a 22. That's a miss, but I'm not uh, you'll it's take <laughs> uh, eight fire damage. <gasps> and next it is Lazarus. Okay. I'll go one day. So I get a stealth Damn. attack, right? Yep. Uh, I'm going to use a bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark on the Nothic. Okay. And then I'm going to shoot an arrow at it. Do stealth attacks have advantage? Yep. Well, that's a 24... Or a 10. So you're taking the 10? <laughs> no, I'll take the 24. So 1d8, 6, 6 plus 5 is 11. 11? Okay. It's the Nothic's turn. Uh, it'll attack you, Lazarus. Or wait. Yeah, it turns around and sees that you just fired an arrow at it. Can I do a stealth check to see if he sees me? Uh, <laughs> your face. I, I don't think so, because you didn't say it on your turn. So. Okay, I'm fine with that. It'll use its rotting gaze on you. Aha! Uh-huh. So Roy, Constitution, saving throw. It has to be the 12. Child's play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a 10. <laughs> Are you smarter than a 5th grader? <laughs> uh, you'll take uh, 10 necrotic damage. Ooh. Okay. And then it is Ryan's turn. Alright, well, uh, first things first. I'll, uh. Run away. <laughs> 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 um, I, uh. None of them are wearing metal, are they? No. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll just run up to the Megman that's closest to me, and okay. I'll take a big ol' swing with my Warhammer. Okay. <clears throat> and I get a. Ooh, hoo, hoo, 19 to hit. Yeah, you hit. Yes, it's the first time I've ever hit with my Warhammer, I think. That's not good. It's a D8, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I get 6 plus proficiency, or plus strength, right? Plus strength, plus proficiency. To, not, for or da- no, no, sorry. For damage. Just plus strength. So yeah. 7 damage total. 7, okay. And then I use my bonus action to attack with my uh, spiritual battle hammer. Spiritual weapon battle hammer that I cast. Uh, so I have to roll the hit with that. And that is a cool 20, dirty 20 to hit. Yeah, you hit. And I think that's 1d8 force damage, plus my spellcast modifier, so 7 damage total. Yeah, you kill it. Sweet. Nice, mate. And as you hit it, it just like flies towards the wall behind it and smashes it, itself on it. and just Don't mess with it. Hephaestus! Uh, next, it's the nice. last Megman. Uh, it'll attack Ryan. Okay. Got a 21. That does hit. And it sees that it's touched on you. Uh, you'll take six fire or uh, seven fire damage. Uh, next, it is the charmed Magman. So, what would you like it to do? Hey, buddy. Hey. How are you feeling? <laughs> oh, you know, pretty good. How about you? Hi, they don't. Sp- no, they only speak English. Yeah, you only speak English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he doesn't understand. He'll speak back. Um. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just... Uh, Attack! Do do <laughs> oh, the <laughs> enemies! I don't know. I'm gonna cast Comprehend Languages on myself. Okay, it's not your turn. Though. No, uh, it's the Magman's turn. Right. That's what that I'm you just tell it to hit someone. I don't know if they understand me, but... Um, I'm gonna point to one of the other Magman that's closest... Or the, the one that's closest to mm-hmm. me. I'm just gonna make, like, fist-punching <laughs> movements at him. But, and then okay. point at... Uh, the charmed guy. Yeah, it'll like excitedly <laughs> nod his head like yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, going like a great thing. idea. Yeah, fuck him up. Yeah, <laughs> always hated Larry. <laughs> and then he'll attack it with his touch, and he doesn't do any damage. Probably because they're immune to said touch. Yeah. Well, that one he just missed. Oh, 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 okay. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so now it is uh, Ailerindal's turn. Heck yes. Uh, I'm going to attack with my longbow again. Because why not? A Megman or a Orthonothic? Uh, one of the Megman again. So that is 18. Hey, bitch. Awesome possum. Uh, 
this one. That is... That's a three. <laughs> three damage. Okay. Good job. Thanks, man. Like, all together? Oh, wait. Uh, is there a... I had... Just put your dice. Three. three. Oh, yeah. So that's a five. Sorry. Five? Okay. Was that the one that Blaze hit before? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay, you killed that one. Epic. <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, that one was near you, right, Blaze? Mm -hmm. Uh, so please make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Dope. You have to beat an 11. Oh, no, saving throw? Yeah. Deck. <sighs> Man, I'm rolling like crap. Nine. Uh, I'm burned up out here. This magman just bursts into flame, uh, and as it does that, uh, the flames touch oh. you, and you take... Oh, I plus six saving throw. So, f 11. Okay, uh, you save. <laughs> <laughs> cool hey, still explain that. it, and I'll explain my dodge. A few of your hairs tinge as the, like, uh, tinge and burn as the magman just explodes in a fury of fire. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I look over yeah, at Andel. Well, no. that, but it was far away from everyone else, so. I look over at Andel sternly, <laughs> be like, yo, what's going on? Yo, man! <laughs> <laughs> I kind of, like, shrug, like, I didn't know. <laughs> Whoa, was it me? <laughs> Caught me shooting that Magman in the head. Uh, next me? is Blaze. Blaze? Okay, so I see that my prey is now dead. Uh, and I'll just rush for the Nothic. Because how far away okay. is it from me? Uh, probably around 30 feet away. Okay. And I'm not on fire, right? No, uh, just some of your ha hairs were tinged. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm going to... Actually, I'm not going to rush towards it. Sorry, again, how far? About 30 feet. Okay, I'm going to pull up my crossbow. I'll use that. I don't have any proficiency, so I don't add anything to it. Except dex. Why would I add dex to a crossbow? It's a ranged attack. Yeah. Oh, okay, so nine. That misses. Cool. Uh, for my bonus action, I'm going to whip my steel dagger at it. Okay. I'm going to use a different die to roll for that. Yeah. I'm going to use a different die, because <laughs> that one rolled away. Um, uh, 22. Hey, you hit. Nice. Okay, nice. Or just a silver dagger, so just d4 plus my dex. No, it's a bonus, so no, just d4. Four damage. Okay. Nice. Doing my part. Next is one of the Magmen. It'll go for uh, Ryan. Got an ad one. It does not hit. <laughs> <laughs> it was close, though. <laughs> uh, so it, it runs towards you and trips over its own feet and just tumbles into uh, one of the other Magmen that is around, and they both kind of fall prone. Do they now? Uh, next Ooh. is the prone one. He'll just get up. And will then probably be close enough to you, I think, because you were to use melee, melee yeah. weapons, right? Yeah, so he'll still attack you. Uh, he misses. Uh, so next is one more Magman. Uh, it'll attack Farron. Uh, it got a 15. Just hit. That's my home class. Uh, so it does not hit, I guess. Yeah. Hit for Blaze, doesn't hit for me. <laughs> uh, next is Alcaro. He'll attack another one. Or he'll attack the Nothic guy again. It is a 12 plus 4, so 16. He hits uh, 16 damage. Uh, the Nothic is barely alive now. Uh, and it is then one more... Magman's turn, misses whoever he attacks, and then it is Lazarus. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot it again with my bow. Nothing? Yeah. Okay. That's a 24. You hit. 7 plus 1 is 8 damage. You kill it. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, and as a bonus action, I'm moving my hunter's mark onto a one of the Magmen. Okay. Uh, next, it'll be Ryan. Cool. So there's still one prone on the ground, right? One of the Megmen? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go up to him. I'm just going to bring my Warhammer down and smash him in the head with it. Okay. And I have advantage because he's prone, right? Yep. Sick. Okay, I got a 22, 21 to hit. Yeah, it hits. Da -da -da -da. So that's three damage. And then I'm going to uh, use my bonus action to attack with a spiritual weapon again. And that also has advantage, right? Okay, so that's 21 again to hit. Yeah, you and, uh, uh, eight damage. Yeah, you kill it. Yeah. And then it bursts into a uh, fiery ball of flame, so please do a dexterity saving throw. Damn it. <laughs> 11. 
Should have seen that going. 19. Or, yeah, 19. Okay, uh, you'll take half damage. You actually should have taken half damage. I didn't read that. I'll, ca- I'll make sure for next time. Okay, no worries. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so you'll take three damage. Three fire damage. And then it is to one of the last magmen. Uh, it'll attack Elrendal. Got a dirty 20. <laughs> and you are touched with fire, and you'll take nine damage. Tis but a flesh wound. And then uh, it's back up to the charmed Eggman. Okay, so who's still alive? How's the battlefield look? Uh, there are five Eggman still alive. And that's all? Yep. Where including all... him? Including him. Okay. Where's everyone positioned? I'm away from everybody. Lazarus was still behind one of the stalactites, like mites, uh, and then I haven't moved much. I'd still be right where I was because so I just pulled out my crossbow. Cave. Yeah. Okay. And you had charged in, I think, yeah, right? I so you're kind of right. near the center of the room. Uh, I was still kind of back because I, I just drawn yeah. out my longbow and I was shooting. Them. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the magmen, where are they positioned? Uh, there's one that just ran towards Lazarus. I mean, Aelrendal, and just hit him. So you'd be able to melee, melee attack him, probably. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then there's, I think, one near Blaze, one kind of in the center of the room, and then one near Ryan. So many. <laughs> and one elsewhere in the room. So there isn't there one that was, like, right by me along with the charm one? Because I remember... Oh, one yeah, one that's right. Yeah, yeah. All right, can I... So that means that there's two... That are within 30 feet of each other. 30 feet of my yep. range. I want to cast Charm Person at second level and Charm both of them. Okay. Why? So you can have minions that won't follow you in like an hour? <laughs> so you don't need concentration for your other Charm Person? Do you? No, no. no okay. It just lasts for an hour. I think that'd be Wisdom of 14. Maybe. One got an 18, one got a 12. Oh, this so one much. fails. So I have two Charm? Yeah, I have two Charm. Um, which one is Charm? It would be the one that would be closest to you. Okay, cool. Wonderful. And uh, now that was charm, I'm just going to back away from all of them. Okay. <laughs> Keep my distance. I'll go like 20 feet away. Oh, wait. It was the charmed one's turn, though. So it wasn't oh. your turn. It was the charmed, the oh, first charmed one. Yeah. Oh, you said? Oh, I totally heard my turn. <laughs> That's sorry. my bad. Okay. Um, it's charm, so That's Sebastian right. just takes his turn instead. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really, yeah I guess I'm going to do another one. Just one to point and punch. Okay. The one in front of me. Okay, uh, it'll, it'll go like, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, then I love beating up him. my siblings. <laughs> it does not hit. He missed with this punch. Punch is this. <laughs> when, when slaves don't and do as I told them to punch them. Uh, Ail Rundle's turn. Uh... There's that one that's close to me, right? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna attack that guy with my long sword. <laughs> Whoop! That's a seven. Yeah, you miss. Okay. Um, actually, I don't miss. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I do not. Uh, no, I'm gonna use. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, never mind. Okay. Uh, Baron, it is now your turn. Oh, so do you yeah. want to just do the charm thing? Uh, or do you want to do something different? Yeah, I'm still going to do the charm thing. thing. Nothing's okay. really changed. Okay, so he is still charmed then. Okay, cool. Uh, was that the only thing you were going to do with your turn? Yeah, I'm just going to charm okay. him back away. Okay, so next is Blaze. Okay, so how many in total are left? Uh, still five. Five, okay. Two are charmed. Two are charmed. I'm going to go over the one near Ryan. Okay. Okay. Oh, you gave me a look, so I thought I was in trouble. <laughs> uh, but no. How dare you! It's yeah. mine. Uh, can I pick up my steel dagger on the way there? Uh, sure. Just so I don't, so I don't get the. Did you sure. pick up your dagger? Yeah, yeah. I, I picked it up. But I will pull out my uh, sun and stars quarter staff, and I'm gonna hit him with that. Okay. I rolled in dirty twenty. Yeah, you I can. Oh, sorry, at twenty two. But yeah. Okay, so it's a d six. Uh, that is seven damage. Seven? Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to spend a key point to use Flurry of Blows. Okay. So I make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. A natural 20 and a 16 plus... Unarmed is just my dex, right? So then a dirty 20. Yeah. Okay, so a nat 20 and a dirty 20. Hey, hey, you had both. So that's a d4. 
Uh, so this is the first one because it's a nat 20, so that's four damage. Uh, and then for the other one, two damage. So six in total. Okay, you kill him. Yeah, nice. nice. And then he bursts into a flame and a fireball just bursts from his body and please re- uh, dexterity save him through. Me as well? Am I that uh, yes. Ooh, didn't think that one through. Dirty 20 though. I got a three. Yeah, so you'll take half damage, you'll take full damage. Oof. Uh, that's 12 fire damage. Oof, so you'll take six. Sorry about that I one. had it covered. It's a good thing you know how to heal, huh? Yeah. Uh, next yeah. is one of the champions, so what would you like it to do? Ah, uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> just uh, point it at another one that's not charmed and just you know, make the punch in motion. <laughs> It'll give you two thumbs up and <laughs> run towards him and punch him. Can't understand it, but an ignorant says, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Positively. Would I ever love uh, to betray my friends? Yeah, man, your magman suck. Uh, and well, next, not attacking me. next it is Alcaro. He'll attack uh, one of the ones that has just been punched or tried to be punched. Uh, he hits and kills it. And then it is... How does he die? Okay. <laughs> oh, and then... Uh, How does he die? Burst into flames and he has to do a constitution saving throw. And kills the old man. He got a natural 20! Name drop. <laughs> I actually don't like Arcaro anymore. <laughs> and so, uh, he's able to jump away, and just a tiny bit of his white beard got singed. That's the only damage it does. Uh, so next is Azars. Is there any of the magmen that are full health? Uh, all three are. Okay. So I'm just gonna shoot one of them with my longbow. The uncharmed one? Yeah. Okay, go cool. ahead. 21. Do it. That's 10 plus 2 is 12. You kill it. Nice. You fire it right in its neck, just in the juggler, and it just falls back. Fire just coming out of it. Fire and like magma coming out of it, the mm. hole in its throat as well as its mouth. And then it just bursts into flames. Nice. Uh, and I don't know who's nearby, so I'll just say whatever. Uh, so now there are just the two charmed ones left, and it is Ryan's turn. Okay. Make him fight each other. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna walk up twenty feet, oh, or fifteen feet away from one of them. And I'm gonna chuck my spear at him because I can do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that's a uh, eleven thirteen to hit. That misses. All right. Well, that's cool. I'm gonna smack him with my spiritual weapon then. This bonus action. Okay. Which is a twenty-one to hit. Good. <clears throat> and that's uh, eight damage. Eight. Okay. Uh, so he would no longer be charmed. Right? Okay. Sorry. <sighs> Had to do it. So this guy's looking really bad. Like there's just magma leaking everywhere out of him just from your the force of your attack. And next it'll be uh, the first Shrine Bones turn. So, Farron, what would you like him to do? Beat up the other, <laughs> Beat one. Up the other one. Wait, is there like a hole or something? <laughs> anything like that? Like a hole in the room or? Yeah. Not really. There's just like slag mites and slag types. just happen to be like holding a sword out? You could have him <laughs> try to like flop him on a slag tight or slag mite. I'm gonna do that. Okay. I'm just gonna <laughs> just point at him, point at the stalagmite, and then just make like a, 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 a paling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he not he nods his head, his head excitedly. I uh, goes to lift the guy up. He does it. He's got the guy in his arms, and he, <laughs> he carries him to the near stalagmite and just fucking. Throws him down straight on him. <laughs> on, on the slag type. Slag mite. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, like, just the, the rock just jutting through him. <laughs> and then after that, it just explodes. Rock and him as well. That Megman will just do a save and throw to see if he gets hit by a rock. He does not. Uh, so next it is uh, a- uh, Ailrendal's turn. Uh, I'm gonna shoot him with my longbow. That's a 19. You hit. Hell Good yeah. job. Thanks, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, that's six. 
Six K. He's still alive. Baron. He is no longer charmed. <laughs> okay, um, well. It's just the last one, right? Yeah. yeah um, Charm him again. <laughs> I want him so bad. <laughs> uh, but, uh, no, that's fair. Um, I'm just going to give this to someone else. I'll pass my. Hold your turn. Okay, yeah, uh, so, far away. uh, Blaze. Okay. Uh, I got two key. I don't want to waste my key, though. Uh,. Since no sense wasting any abilities, I'm just gonna rush up and like leap into the air and I'll use my daggers and just like kind of like slam down with both of them and try and okay. stab them. So the first one is a oof, 11? Misses. Okay. Uh, the next one is Clayton. <laughs> Stop dropping your dice. Okay. Uh, 12. That misses. <laughs> you just see Blaze <laughs> lunge into the air like, I'm gonna get him! And then like just like land like five feet to the right and just like <laughs> slam his daggers in the ground and be like, shit! <laughs> uh, next is Alcaro. He doesn't have a ranged weapon, so I guess he'll just use his sword again. He misses. Uh, so I'll go to Lazarus. Uh, there's one left. <laughs> I'll try shooting him with my longbow. You go. <coughs> you 17. You hit. That's 6 plus so. 3 is 9. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. He's done. Uh, and he explodes in a big ball of fire, and Blaze, please do a dexterity saving throw. Because you're 5 feet to the right of him. <laughs> oh! 8. <laughs> Watch me uh, die. You'll take 11 fire damage. <laughs> oh my god. I'm alive, This buddy. fire just engulfs you. Oh, fuck! <laughs> and now all the enemies are dead, and that's where we leave off on this time of Nat 20.